recently you you had a blessing to honor the spirit of the Sunny Laws, which yeah. I think is so beautiful. Thank I know a, a, I've actually known quite a few um, people who have lost babies mm -hmm. and um, and had miscarriages, and it's one of those things where half the time, like half the time, I feel like those friends never want to talk about it again. Yes. And then the other half, it's like therapy for them yeah. to talk about it. It's therapy for them to remember every year. It's it's so different. You yeah, know? we're very vocal about it in the household because uh, most, mainly because my kids are, you know, so much a part of it. They are, mm. they were part of the blessing. Like, I mean, Miles really sat down and paid attention and, you know, everyone wonders why, uh, you know, mommy's crying because of baby Jack. And, you know, sometimes if I'm just sad at, just having like a sad night or a little bit of a down night, they look at me and they want to talk about baby Jack and they want to talk about, um, they'll bring, you know, the little box over or the flowers or, mm -hmm. or you know, we, it's, we're just very vocal about it and how he's, you know, he's everywhere, he's in the air, he's in the sky, he he's surrounds us every day. And um, I kind of always been like that uh, uh, with death and loss. Um, but yeah, I, my thing was, it took me so long to, you know, kind of close the chapter on it. Of course, you never, it's never like full closure, but like I, it happened. And then I threw myself into this book and I threw myself into um, writing and, and. For a bit of distraction, you think? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I mean, that became like, it, it, it became its own thing of, and then I looked back one day and I was like, oh, like I just stopped myself and I was like, oh, I'm still really sad about this. Like it, it's just, I'm like, and then I realized I, I didn't know. it's incredible that you're doing that though because I think a lot of people feel bad about that, about yeah. still holding, and it's like, that's a horrible loss. Yeah. That's a huge loss. Yeah. And I am opposite of you. I do not like to talk about death. Mm -hmm. Like I am like shut yeah. down central. So I think it's an amazing, I wish I were more like you with that. I wish I were more open like, cause I think that a lot of people, that's how they find healing. Yes. And how a lot of people never heal from yeah. it because you don't talk about yeah, it. Yeah, it helps a lot. And I had yeah. stuck it in the back of my mind. And then, and then it, it once, yeah, I realized that I remember looking back and I, I called my OB and I was like, I don't, this, it's been eight months and I don't even really know what went wrong or what happened or what to tell people when we talk about it. I, I, mm -hmm. I didn't have any of the answers for that cause I had just shut it off for so long. So really going through everything and, and finding peace with it was, was so big and finding peace with my entire life. Like it was such a big, you know, it was such a big like, so, like breath of release, relief. And, yeah. and it just felt so, it felt so nice the other day to have the monks there and, and um, That's yeah, cool. it was great. I think it's really good for your kids too. I don't know if your kids yeah. are already talking about death, but my daughter is obsessed oh, gotcha. with it. And she definitely doesn't want me to die. Every oh, night my she kids. Me. Oh, yeah. No. But but I think it's a they hard do conversation. Get in that age, right? It's oh, a hard goodness. conversation to have. So I think what you are doing is beautiful. What y'all yeah. are doing, because it's a beautiful way to remind your kids, like, this is life. Yes. Like sometimes death occurs, like, or it's inevitable. Oh, for my all kids of us, are all about, like, talk, uh, they think I'm going to die all the time because of the Disney movies. So they I just, know. like, <laughs> oh my God. And, like, anytime my daughter tells a story, everyone dies that I could know. possibly take I care know. of her. And I'm like, where is she learning this? And I'm like, oh, from oh, all the movies she watched. The stuff yeah. I show her. Oh, yeah, yeah oh, that's it. All those Disney films are supposed to be, like, really happy. Yeah. But it, you should be, I guess, teaching them, you know, death at, yeah. at some point. I but, know. Oh, they're prepped for it. Thanks, yeah. Disney. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're ready. So, wait. So you you spoke about you said you weren't drinking, right? Yes. So congrats. I didn't Thank know that you. actually. No, but I feel it's been great. Months, right? Yeah. That's amazing. I know. Do and you it, feel like it? I feel like I don't drink. It's, I know people laugh because I'll joke about drink. I actually don't drink much yeah. unless I'm really here. Um, and and I I joke about it, but I'm I'm not really a heavy drinker because I feel like I'm not a good drinker. Mm -hmm. I'm, I am not. Oh, I, I become appreciate like a, people oh. that can like do it and enjoy the taste and the feeling. John drinks. I mean, yeah. John would have a glass of wine at the end of the night or um, like a, a whiskey, like slow watching a good show. And it's, uh, you know, it's what amazing. What an old man. Yeah, he really is. <laughs> he really, really is. With a and cigar. It's, it's so nice to see someone that enjoys it because I look at me and I'm just like, because I was teetering for a while. I was like, Am I never gonna drink again? Am I really never gonna have a glass of wine again, a glass of champagne to celebrate something? And then I'm like, no, there's like so much pressure in thinking that way. But also like, it's not for my body. Like, and I wasn't drinking yeah. 
for any reason other than to like heal things and, and escape. Yeah, yeah, and escape. So I think that's me too. No that's point. why I don't like drinking. Yeah, it's drinking not for me. Like, every once in a while, yeah, I'm like one of those people. I'm not like hardcore about anything. Mm -hmm. I want once you say never, that's the time when you do it. Yes. Yeah. Yes, but I trust I me. do think that <laughs> growing up, I have learned about my body and how I react to certain mm -hmm. things and. Man, mama is one drink in and that's it. Yeah, and, uh, no. And it's, it depends on the situation. What's I know it's funny. A, a lot more people like if you like really get in tune with your body and realize like if it's your thing or not. It, I think yeah. it would save a lot of people because it just really isn't. But we have such a culture. It's of such drinking. a social thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then I read this book about you know like the pressure that people put on mothers that, to drink and how casual it is for mm. like to like really escape like motherhood and stuff. Yeah. And, and how normalized that is. And I was just like, I don't want to be one of those people. And now I have all this new energy for my kids. And it's just, yeah, yeah. this whole That's year good. has yeah. just been like incredible for being able to be a better wife, a better mother, a better friend. Um, yeah, it just, it just feels really good now.